Hello everypony, Jeff Archfiend back here, and good god I hate friggin' birds doing that to me. Whew. Sudden noises on here, not my favourites. <sighs> Anyone else seen this green shift in here? Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's swinging by itself. The swing's swinging by itself. Just after a whole shuddering. This is where I just came from, dumbass. Okay. What oogie boogie monster is gonna pop up? No, I'm delaying heading into the friggin' scary place. Whoa. Um, this place looks wrecked. Well, that's not ominous at all. Okay, crazy telly. What have we got for us this time? Oh, it's another one of these. Punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. Oh, this should be good. Tonight's episode. The man in the mirror. The man in the mirror. Crime and punishment. Hmm. What have we got going on here? He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark, believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I, I don't understand any of this. And you never will. The 
Okay. The last TV show made a lot more sense than this one. I'm assuming some kind of reflection thingy. Okay. So, I've got a funny feeling that's going to come to life and smack me around. Okay. Floating stuff in the air. Looks like feathers. Why is there feathers flying around in here? I mean, all the birds are gone. Oh, there's something that doesn't add up. What the hell is that noise coming from? Okay. That explains where that was coming from. Birds. Who do not like the light. Joy, more manuscript. What's this one say? Rusty dying. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Uh-oh. Methinks I do not like the sound of this. Given that the previous chapter is to do with the... <laughs> kidnappers. Feed wildlife. Oh, I have no intention of feeding the wildlife. Oh, manuscript page. And there's a light down there. Three guesses, that's where I'm supposed to go. Wow. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance. And life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Uh, small town problems. That have now been enveloped by a giant chaotic dark miasma that wants to take over the world and plunge it into eternal night or something. Thing like that. I'm of course completely guessing. Oh. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. Hello? Back here. I'm 
back here. Hey, please help me. Oh, for the love of Mr. Wake. <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. This can't go well. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. <laughs> Shh. Good boy. That's the kitchen. Wow, whatever it was in this place really did a number. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Mm, is this the manuscript page in question? Yep. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Oh boy. More manuscript? Bloody hell. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Well, that doesn't help whatsoever. We're screwed. All right, we're just get the lights on. I'll just myself up to the ammo and batteries first. Oh, that was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. We're not going to make it in time, are we? Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Swirling darkness. Oh, boy. We're going to have to go over there, aren't we? Well, allons-y. Like I'm going to be standing in the goop. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Where some crazy axe mur murderer swings at me. Oh. It's gone. Oh, wait, no, it's back. Hang on, boy, I'm coming. You are not getting the dog. Just need hunting licenses. Oh, shit. Right, 
forgot which button did what there for a second. And he's gone. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Well, the skeleton's still there. He's not. And neither's the dog. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Obey the park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Two bears and wolves never approach any other wolf closer than twenty-five yards. Pets must be leashed at all times. Never leave your head unattended. It is against the law to remove any natural objects or historical artifacts from the park. This includes even rocks you make. Damn it. Getting in the hang of this. What do you think? Mists are still here, so that means there's still something. Uh, and with that, I'll see you all next time.